Very good. I'm going to go get your pop on these glasses. Jaden Velarde hasn't looked back since achieving his dream of getting porcelain veneers. The main issue that I had with my teeth personally, and not everyone will agree with me, is um, they, they were gappy. Um, so there was gaps in between them and they weren't really proportionate to one another. They were all different shapes and sizes. Veneers are effectively thin shells bonded to teeth. The 25-year-old FIFO worker went from this to this. I've wanted a nice smile since I was 15. It was $21,000 for absolutely everything start to finish, which in my opinion is absolutely priceless. Jaden says he made a fully informed decision to go ahead with the procedure, but authorities say not all young people are being made aware of the risks and ongoing costs. People may not have really understood that when they're having veneers done, say, for example, the upper front teeth being burred back to create space for the veneers, that this is a lifelong project that they've undertaken and would require lifelong maintenance as they go forward. They're planning stronger safeguards across the non-surgical cosmetic sector, everything from veneers to Botox and fillers. Included in the changes, practitioners would have to avoid advertising that glamorises cosmetic procedures, avoid misleading before and after photos, and assess patients for psychological conditions. This dentist is on board with the bulk of the proposals. I think before and after pics, if they are unedited, and they are actually realistic. I think that's actually important. But as you know, there is a lot of photos that could be photoshopped. There's a lot of AI that could be done on photos and they don't really represent the treatment that's actually been completed. One, two, three, little thing. The beauty industry agrees stronger rules are needed, but it's warned against the over-regulation of advertising. In this day and age, people do their research online and they shouldn't have that freedom of information and freedom of choice removed from them. You know, knowledge is power. The changes are being mainly welcomed by cosmetic surgeons who sometimes have to deal with complications from injectable treatments. The beauty industry has underlined the need for more education. We would rather see a shift towards education, excellence and the elevation of standards rather than excessively harsh consequences for nurses and practitioners. For Jaden, his new smile involves an ongoing financial commitment. His veneers will need to be replaced in 10 to 15 years time, but it's a cost he's prepared to pay. You have a really good night and you look at the photos the next day and you might not want to post it to social media because you don't like your smile. So. I feel a lot more confident just laughing and smiling and being more engaged in conversations. Over a hundred submissions to the plans are being reviewed before any changes are enforced. Major surgery for a booming industry. Claire Moody, ABC News.